All right, here we go. So we're in Colony 4 Central Yard. So of course so I gotta talk to a few people so to raise our affinity. Hubrum, proper cooking, not exactly possible. Mirror, mirror, middle of barren wasteland. Mikoko and friends rather likely end up on menus of monsters instead. Meh, meh, any horrid thing could happen. That was weird. You see, like, my friends just, like, appeared? That was weird. The commander has instructed us to lay off you lot, even though you're Agnes. Agnes with turncoat keeves. Oh, uh, yeah, jerks. All right. See, I want to raise my affinity, so you see my affinity's raising. The road to Ribby Flats looks to be blocked. It'll have been... It'll have been that land ship when the Feronius passed through. All right. We're using a bit of loveness power to clear it all up at the moment. You'll be informed as soon as we're done. Thanks. We much appreciate it. All right. Um, God, there's a ton of people to talk to here. Oh, I guess this is where we're supposed to go. I didn't bet. Yeah, wait. Ah, oh, there you are. Sorry, you you are. I'm Solon, Procurement Division, Colony 4. Okay, I got orders from the commander to set you up with a tent you can use during your stay here. Well, thank you much, dude. So make yourselves at home. Thanks a lot. The commander told me something else as well. That you guys helped out everyone here at the colony and we all owe you a lot. I'm afraid I won't have time to attend, to attend you personally, but if there's anything you need while you're here, just let us know, okay? Well, I'll leave you to it. Well, thanks, dude. He just strolls off. What a reception. <laughs> Solon seems like nice person. Maybe we should go in and rest. Cool. Dang it. Ah, uh, I think I'd like to take a bath first, actually. Turn the baths, man. Hey, uni love, if you're headed to the bath, Ew, you called me love. That makes me feel weird. <laughs> Let's just stick with the plan. Plain old uni, okay? <laughs> it's like, ew. That's too funny. The console we fought back there. Uh-huh. Oddly, he was strikingly similar to our own console. Both sides are going to have consoles. Why is that odd? More accurately, not just similar. They're the same. Yep. They're the same. Are they really? Our colonies regard each other as enemies. But if the consoles giving the orders are the same, it means... It means... They're the ones behind it. Hmm. Duh. Come on. Just spit it out, man. A console's such a big deal. I thought they were everywhere, like your run of the mill knock on. Uh. Riku refused to let Remark of Uni slide. <laughs> that right? Knock on a rare species world cannot live without. Protect at all cost. Uh, leaving Napon out of this. What's this mean? That these guys are mega suspicious? Yes. They're I running the they show. Be more deeply involved than we thought. They're running the show. Involved how though? They're with running what? the show. With the reason why we fight, with deciding our fate. They're running the show, our guys. Fate. Can't be that dense. If you figure they're the same, they're running the, the show. You think they're in cahoots? Yep. What can you tell us about your queen? I think we've only laid eyes on her once. Right? Yeah. At the homecoming, I think. She had long silver hair. Yep. Real dignified. Proper pretty wings, too. Wings? Like yours, Uni. Sort of. But they were much more of a shining white. Well, as for our queen, 
She was really elegant, refined and graceful. And her ears, they were super long. Up to here. Hmm. Yeah, hmm. Guess that means our queen's a different folks, all right? The consuls are kind of like the queen's servants, right? The castles. Their role is to convey the queen's directives to the colonies, along with handling admin and decision-making. So what? If we explain the deal to the queen, you think she might actually get the picture? Yeah? Pretty much. All right. I don't recommend getting your hopes up. Yeah, exactly. Oh, yeah? The queens sit at the very pinnacle of the hierarchy. So you think they won't even give us the time of day, huh? I'm saying they might be the same as the consuls, our enemy. What? Also, somehow that consul, he became Mobius. Yeah. Or maybe Mobius is the consuls. Yeah. Dun dun dun! He finally figured it out! The situation's already dire enough. It'll be best to temper our expectations. <sighs> well. See, there, there's a console. Is that so? Colony 4. Henceforth, all orders are rescinded. Eliminate Ouroboros at all cost. Oh, boy. Make this known throughout the colonies. Right. Ouroboros has no place in this world. Okay, there's their queen. Their existence must be erased without a trace. In a colony four. And learn that the consuls and Mobius are one and the same. Truths we took for granted continue to crumble at our feet. We have spent so long blindly walking the path set before us without question. If you know she doesn't have much time left. Now. Of our future selves. Of our purpose. So, split into three units, our main troops go wide, and first to make contact with Draws? What are you, a coward? What was that? Oh, huh? he's going in his past. I asked you what you said. You think I'm scared, is that it? I'll have you know, my plan is textbook. Drop it, Tyon. Let go! Colony 13 is a complete enigma. Our data is incomplete. It's just way too cautious, you clod. It's tedious and it's dull. Can you see that? If we don't eat now, we'll starve. We don't have the time to mess around. What does... Look, Taiki boy. Oh, great. I mean, we're Iron Lambda, yeah? The colony led by Commander Isard. And this is some no-name backwater. We hit from the side, and we hit hard. Am I wrong? <sighs> what we need is momentum. Gotta play hard to win big! Right, I see. One team draws the sentries away, then the main force can strike en masse, where the flank will be left loosely defended. Seems optimal. Is that right, Tyon? Huh? Yes. Correct. <clears throat> Doesn't believe it. All right. If that's your opinion, we'll approve it. Yes, Ezerd? Yes. If you say it'll work, I trust you. Happy, Tyon? Yes. Commander, strategist. It's almost time. The new console should be arriving from the castle soon. Of course. On my way. My, that time already. TikTok. Nimue, why are you still using that gizmo? Now that's not very polite, Izzard. 
This mechanical gizmo is much more precise than the iris clock and unaffected by the black fog. Right, Tyon? Yep. Huh? Uh, uh, right. Why do you keep asking Tyon for everything? Right, Tyon? Right, Tyon? It's like, frick, how should I know, man? I don't have one. Bunch of cutscenes, black fog. <laughs> I can't see a thing! Sergeant! Where are you? Sergeant! What? What's going on? Oh, jeez. <laughs> well, bye, Sergeant. Should be an exit through the southern water vein. Head straight for that. And you, ma'am? We'll hold the line here. Keep them occupied. Thank your pardon. That's idiocy and certain death. Tie on. You can't. You all still have a future. Until the day of your homecoming, please just live. And here. Up, she gave, I knew she was gonna give her the I, give him the clock. I could I won't. Don't do this, ma'am. Listen, I need you to live, Tyon. You must flee for the colony. Tyon, get moving! Hurry! How? How can I? Tyon! I don't want to go! Nib away! <laughs> Bye, Nim away. <laughs> Damn it. Yeah. I think we're gonna get a lot of backstories in each change of chapter. So. Oh. Shouldn't have put so much stock in your irises, Kay. That is what you get. It's just bad luck. The plan was sound. If not for the black fog, it's all about the skin feel. You've only got eyes up front. That's why Kay lost. Sounds, the air, breathing. When you can feel all that, you don't need the iris. And for all that, you still flunk back, tail between legs. Are you forgetting that fact? <laughs> He's awful forgetful, isn't he? <laughs> so? I'm still breathing, and I... I had a ball with them kids right until I had to scarper. Excuses a ten a penny. So they're all you parts implying? of the same person, I guess. Excuse me? Is this a private party, or can I interject? I was thinking I might head out alone next. Great. Is that allowed? You want to see with your own iris, eh? Pretty much. Plus, there's Izzard in Colony Lambda, right? It'll be an extremely amusing situation, don't you think? Yeah, we'll have fun, I'm sure. Oh, this is gonna get harder and harder. I think they're all the same person. Or actually parts of of Morbius. Because they can turn into him, so uh we'll find out, I guess. That's just a theory. Loading, loading, loading.
goodness of mornings. Morning, Manana. Manana, sorry. Okay, everyone's here. We got word from Ethel a little while ago. There's something she wants to tell us, and we should go to the council room to hear it. Very well. We should stay, say thanks for this tent, at least. Okay, let's go see what Ethel has to say then. Yeah, I did change jobs on a few people, so that way we can uh, crank up. All right. Uh, let me talk to her. So you guys were originally affiliated with Colony 9 and Colony Gamma, is that right? It must have caused quite a stir when word got out that they produced rebels. Do you think they're okay? Somehow, I highly doubt that. I wish I could go and check. All right. See, I want to raise... It. You can raise your affinity here. What the heck? What is that? Oh, that's a check. Oh, I got the checkpoint. Um... Oh, there's a person here. Bam Bam. Bam Bam encounter super strong Bunnet. Almost become Bam Bam Schnitzel. But Mega Bunnet look just like normal Bunnet. Bam Bam never heard such a thing. So not be fooled by cute whisperings. Okay. Yeah, I already talked to them. Let me go over here. So, who ultimately is our true enemy? Is it Angus or the consuls? Or could it be you? Nah, I didn't mean it, but I don't think any of us can know for sure. The plot is thickening by the minute. Alright. And there was somebody over here. There it is. Smashing. A flame clock is basically a signal to the castle that you're defying them. I... Or smashing. Sorry. They already knocked us down to the dirt rank. I shudder to think what the consequence might be this time. Well, screw you, dude. I had to do it. Excuse me! Alright, let me, um... Maybe I've got something you need. There's Let's so see what choice. they got. Uh... Ice headband. Boost critical rate. Gear support, boost agility. Okay, we have a. Let's see, there's so many. I'm gonna get one of those. Okay, uh, let's see. I'm gonna see what I can sell. I don't know if there is anything. Oh, I got armor? I didn't even know that. I don't see anything that can be sold. Alright, well then... Uh... No, alright. Let me go back. Yeah, it's fine. Alright. Let me, um... Uh... Okay, he has aggro does not reset, but he's now a. Let's see. Uh, white belt, topple duration. Sorry, this is uh, taking a while here. Okay, I can use gear support. All right. Uh, yeah, I don't have that yet. Oh, I got Gemini Strike. What is that? Gemini Strike! Okay. Air Fang. White Slash. Hold on. Let me see. Low Ring. Auto attack recharge, one target. Oh, that's a stance. Okay, I'm gonna leave it the way it is. All right. Uh, what is it saying? Class. I don't need. I'm not gonna switch classes yet, cause he's a nine. So I want to get that to ten, and then then go down the other classes. All right. All right. Let's go. 
Okay, uh, there's one more person over here to talk to. Alright, the flame clock really did get smashed. I can hardly believe it. I mean, I didn't even think you could smash a flame clock. All ex experimental data pointed to the contrary. Fascinating. You mean you're trying to smash a flame clock yourself? You got some orbs on you, mate? Oh yeah, I've got orbs. Yeah, I got orbs. Uh, one sec. Okay, never mind. I was I was reading a message, guys. Sorry about that. All right, um, let's go. I don't see anyone else to talk to, right? Wait, I just saw something here. Ah, I knew I saw something. Where are you going, dude? Where are you going? Where are you going? People in Colony Four are certainly quick to accept. Okay, hey, you better not just be ignoring those supply drops that came down. Don't trouble yourself too much over who they're meant for. Just get in and get the goods. Nothing won't won't do. To Nothing I won't do to get them. Okay, pretty much everyone will be out to get those supplies. Could easily turn into a mass crowd. All right, so he's saying there's supplies. Where? <laughs> what supply drops? I don't see no supply drops. <laughs> there's just some stuff outside the camp. Because you would see, the, like, the... Ah, oh, there's something up there. How you get up there? Look. Yes. Oh, there's a ladder. Uh, but it was a ladder. Yeah, it's a ladder right there. Get out of the way, guys. Try to figure this out. Well, how do you get up to those ladders? Oh, that's just cheater. That's cheating. Well, there has to be a way to get up there. And I probably don't have the ability yet. Because there's no way. I mean, look where the ladder is. Right? It's the same on this side, where the chest is. Right? Look where the ladder is. There's no way to get up there. All right, well, I'm just going to continue with the story. Because that's, that's just cheating. All right. Here's where we're supposed to be. Here we go. You lot sleep all right? Yeah, like a log. Thanks for the room. You cleaned it out just for us. Uh, don't sweat it. Just a token from us higher ups. My iris is clock. I couldn't quite believe it. So I went outside, hunted down a hox as a test. And? Didn't get snuffle. The flame clock didn't show, and neither did any moats. Weird. Looks like it's real. Yeah. We were baffled too, at first. Anyway, we're all thankful to you. Flame clocks don't work so good when you're dirt. Hated having to worry about when my number might be up. Yeah. Wait, dirt? I thought Ethel's rank was silver. It was when she saved our hides, wasn't it? Yeah, that was then. This well, is now. Snuff happens. Snuff happens, not crap happens. Uh oh. Camera off. Uh oh. Heard of oh. Them? They're telling Calling you what the happened. Smoldering. The greatest warrior in all of Agnes. And a commander loves to spar with the guy. I know him. They say his spear technique is unparalleled. That, and he's an ace for honest pilot. Yeah. Wow. So Kamaravi and Ethel were rivals. That's right. We fought against him who knows how many times now. Took our share of damage, but then so did they. At one time, one of his Pharonis' knee joints blew clean out. Jeez.
most likely it was a failure of maintenance. The commander could have ended it then and there. But no. Telling other people's tales again? Not very endearing. Cut it out. Uh, commander! Uh, apologies, Mom. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> Ethel? It became a tremendous scandal. The castle stripped our colony of our silver rank, demoting us to dirt. Uh. Uh. But look. They were made the lowest of the low, and still they chose to stick by me, even though it meant having to live day to day. That is why I must prevail over him. Huh? But you're... Free from the yoke of the flame clock, yes, certainly. However, this is another matter. Uh-oh. What is it about, then? Hunger? Pride? Desire? Joy, maybe? It's a little hard to put it to words, but something along those lines. I haven't all the time in the world, and my troops understand this full well. For me, well, all of us, really. A rematch with Kamaravi is everything. And that will give purpose to the remainder of our lives. Wow. A purpose to life. Right, okay. On an emotional level, I could understand. Wow, really? <laughs> I didn't say I agreed. I just see her point of view, that's all. All right, now. Let's put a pin in the philosophizing. Yeah. When we talked last night, you said your destination was Sword March, as I recall. Right. Come along. Walk this way. All right. I don't... You guys walk too slow. Okay, we'll walk slow too. I like to run. Look how slow they walk, man. Of course, I knew they were going to turn. Council room. All right, there we go. This right here is Sword March. Well, that part is common knowledge, I suppose. Yeah. To get there, you have a few possible routes. Mainly the northern and the southern. And then the direct route cutting through the ocean vortex. You don't say. That works. Nobody's done it before. Oh, geez. Such it is. You can try to approach it from sea or from air. But as soon as you're close to it, you'll end up being ripped to shreds. Wow. Trust me, it's not just the waves and the wind. We believe there's some other force at play there. And so, through elimination then, these two. And quite frankly, I wouldn't advise going north. Yeah, I'd go Over. south. The road's dangerous, and it runs right past Agnes Castle territory. You'd have a hard time getting through. I figured south Kion, would be turns easier. Out you're right. As always. Additionally, you are Ouroboros. If you face another colony, you may find the same thing happening as did with us. I'd feel safe betting on it. If you go south, the battle lines are relatively fixed. If you can proceed along this route, you'll get there in about two months. Two months? I think that's all she has left. But... But? There's more? Even if you reach the sword, this city, yes? It's hard to believe you would find it there. It seems far-fetched. How so? Oh. Once, we had to advance across this region ourselves. It was empty. 
Nothing but the sword piercing the landscape. And then, there's that word you mentioned, city. What could that possibly mean? Is it a person? Or a thing? When Guernica talked about it, it sounded kind of like a colony? Uh, I was pretty sure it was an object. Will you still go there, regardless? Yeah, yeah. So that's yeah. where the story's leading us. That was the idea for a chance to live on. Then there's no more to say. Boliaris. Mom? Our guests will be leaving soon. Mom? Let's give them any assistance we can. No worries. Feel free to use the facilities here at your leisure. Yeah. Get ready for what's ahead. Uh, I just got some stuff. I just got some stuff. So we're going south. So it's going to be a lot of grinding. They're like staring at him. Uh, Mimi? Relax. We're just doing what Ethel said. Just using the facilities at our leisure. You have to eat, else you won't grow. It's just... Don't let them get to you. Yeah? Oh. Hey. Oh. What is this? It used to belong to my friend. He always wore it till last year. <gasps> yes. He died. Fighting against Colony Psy. You animals killed him. Shot him right here. Clean through. You're wrong! We're actually from Colony Gamp. Mimi, what? If that's what you want, go ahead and shoot. It's not like I'm a hard target. Now we're talking. Oh, what? You're nearly done anyway. Well, then keep your lousy embers. Die today or in three months' time, not much difference. <sighs> ah, just mind you don't get poisoned before your time's up. You jerk. That's when you just what shoot him jerk. in the butt. <laughs> so uncalled for. Senna, it's fine. Yeah. He was right. We did kill people. Maybe not his friend, but certainly others. We had no choice. If we hadn't have, we'd be goners. We had no choice. Yeah, that was clear until now. It's but different. not anymore. Right? Uh-huh. There's a chance we can make amends. Even if we're misunderstood. On the house. Eat your fill, friend. Huh? We're dirt rank, remember? Life ain't easy here. But you did help. Besides, you gave us a choice. Yeah. The choice not to fight. Now, we won't have to take others' lives. I've... I've wished for this. And you made it true. Thanks for that. Ah! Oh, so nice. Okay, so what now? I believe the southward route is currently blocked by rockfall. I would estimate that clearing it will take some time. I guess we'll just have to wait till it's done. Uh, guys, can I say something? Uh, sounds heavy. I've been thinking, and I think there might be something else that we could try. You mean about Colony 4? It's hardly your responsibility. Tyon, it's not quite like that. I mean, if I see someone in trouble, I just want to help them. Maybe it's not a sense of responsibility exactly. It's more like a natural reaction. Oh, you feel that even for a former enemy? That's how I feel about it right now, at least. Mimi, your heart's big enough for everyone to have a slice. 
Okay, well, no time like the present. Well, let's do something to help. Yeah, why not? Ethel helped us out way back after all. Now we've got a chance to give something back, right? I suppose it'll help it, us earn their trust and kill a bit of time. Kill a bit of time, baby. I think Mimi's right. Guys, thanks. Right, well, that was heartwarming to be sure, but what are we going to do to help exactly? Lance, you need to expend some metal ener mental energy on it yourself instead of blurring questions. I get this may be tricky for you. Oi, watch it, buddy. <laughs> Oi. Well, if we're going to do that, perhaps a little intelligence gathering is in order. Yeah, I guess we gotta, we got it. It's one thing to want to lend a hand, another to know where to stick it. I guess we'd better ask around the colony then. Hmm. Still feeling weird about this? No, it's just... What worried... What, worried about helping the bad guys? It's a bit late for that, love. <laughs> she called her love. Anyway, if anyone tries to stir the pot again, we'll just put them in under the... the uh, uh, Levinus, right? Or Levinus. Or Lev... Lev... Whatever. And we, I mean Lance, obviously. I'd like to call... Isne on the punting. If it's not too much bother, I'm afraid it would be quite messy. Come on, it was just a figure of speech, mate. Okay, then everyone's going to start asking around the colony to find out how we can help. Whee! All right, helping out. Gathering info. All across Aeonia, you'll find question icons. Look near them for info that could be useful on your travels. Be sure to check any you happen to find. Hey, you lot! Go a second! What's up, Oliaris? It's the commander. What's the commander? Well, I haven't seen her for ages. Do you know where she is? Um, I don't think we've seen her. Are you sure? You haven't seen her at all. Think very carefully. Yeah, well, what we did was uh, a discussion thing came up, so that's, I was like... She wouldn't hesitate everybody. to die for the colony if it came down to it. And she's so strong that she'll bear any burden alone, however heavy. Look, if anything would have happened to her, then... Colony 4, then... Uh, we'd be... Okay, okay, calm down. Yeah, we'd be ruined. Uh, yeah, yeah, you got carried away, all right? Yeah, don't worry about it. Look, if you see her, just tell me, okay? Sorry to have kept you. Yeah. Great. That means she's gone too. What else do we have to do? We we're trying to figure out about medical supplies. Quest complete. All right, helping out's complete. Okay, you can have the discussion. Okay, changing the active quest. When changing quest, when a quest is active, its destiny will be marked on. Yeah, we know. If you have no active quest, then a new when a new one triggers, it will be auto activated. Otherwise, you can activate it. Yeah, we know. Yeah, we know. Galgo's mania is north of here. All right, we reached our Ethel? destination, where Ethel is. Oh, it's you. No, it's it's Avon Lady calling. What are you doing here? That's what I was. Wait! Look over there! Alright, supply drops. Supply containers airdrop from each army's HQ at the castles contain many valuable items. It's always worth looking out for red smoke marking their land site, landing sites. If a player character knows the supply drop nearby, you can hold ZR to check out its location. Huh? Hear that? There it is. It's right there. I did focus on it. There we are. It's over there. Now it's way up there. Is that a supply drop? Yes. Sent from Agnes. How can you tell? We got word that an advanced troop from Agnes had been seen in the area. And if they're in the middle of enemy territory, it has to be due to some kind of operation. The supply drop must be timed for the arrival of a main force. Funnily enough, it's that supply drop we're after. Did you know about the Agnian troops, Tyon? I've known about the presence of Agnian forces in this region for a while. I could never verify that supplies were being dropped, but I won't say I didn't suspect. 
Oh, yeah? Well, looks like I can verify it now. From the way that you're talking, it sounds as though you're after supplies, too. Well, medical supplies, specifically. We thought Colony 4 might need them. I see. Then it looks as though we happen to have the same goal. Well, then really? join us, shall you? Boliaris was looking for you. You didn't actually come alone, did you? I actually did. Your understanding of the situation is correct. And I can't risk any more casualties. So you thought you'd go and take care of this yourself, huh? In that case, we... I said I couldn't afford any more casualties. And that includes you. I appreciate that you're willing. But Colony 4 is my responsibility. We want to work with you, Ethel. Be that as it may. We've already made our minds up. That's why we're here. You might end up having to cross swords with people from your own country. There he did. Talking about avoiding casualties. You know that includes you too, Ethel, don't you? I yield. I can't very well refuse you now. Don't worry, Ethel. We're not who we used to be. Yeah, we won't drag you down. Then if we're agreed, let's hurry and pick up those supplies. Apologies. And thank you all. You're welcome, Ethel. Ethel has temporarily joined the party. Yes, okay. So we get Ethel. There are special characters called heroes who can join the party. Heroes can travel with you. A bait in some cases only temporarily and fight by your side. Head for the we smoke know from the container. That's our drop point. Crap. We got there, there's wolves. H and dead hey. people. Something's not right. What what do we do? <gasps> no time to daydream. We have to hurry. <laughs> Ethel! You're right, Noah. We have no time to waste. Let's route those nuisances. Yeah. That's good. They're all shaking their head like, yeah. Stop the fight! Don't hesitate. Now go! Yep. There we go. Phew. Got the wolves. Glad that's over. Yeah. Just one thing left. Ethel. Huh. What? Take your wounded and get out. Huh. Leave now. Did I do the right thing just now? As a Kavesi commander? There was never a reason for any of us to fight in the first place. You did the right thing, in my opinion. The actions you believe to be correct don't always lead to good outcomes. Some situations aren't salvageable. That's the nature of war. It's beyond anyone's control. Ethel? I'm sorry. <laughs> What a tedious thing to talk about. We'll recover the supplies and head back to Colony 4. I'm afraid I'll need you all a while longer. Yeah, I'm gonna mm. overwork you forever. <laughs> I really hope we find some medical supplies. 
Nala, I'm send these, send these guys mind? off. I want that flute. <laughs> And we'd sent them off. All right. Everything's cool. Everything's cool. All right. I'll need a hand here. Of course. Happy birthday. <laughs> I'm sorry. Hurry back to Colony 4. I bet Boliaris is crawling out of his skin with worry right about now. God, I got a bunch of stuff. All right, we made it here. Commander? Commander! Commander Ethel! He's ticked. I looked for you everywhere. Where in blazes were you? I went to fetch medical supplies. Distribute them to the med team. Yes, ma'am, I'll... Uh, wait. No. <laughs> oh, no. No, you don't. I'm sorry for making you worry. Just, please. I did this for everyone. I understand your feelings, but... Ugh. Well, I suppose at least you're unharmed. That's twice you've helped me out. I owe you another one. Nah, don't worry about it. We were acting of our own free will. <laughs> then to reward your efforts. I'll work on getting our injured up and about again. Come, Boliaris. Uh, coming. Ethel. Hmm? What's wrong, Noah? I was thinking about what you said. The actions you believe to be correct don't always lead to good outcomes. Hmm. If someone like you says it, then I don't doubt it's probably true. But back then, you helped us. You saved us. You risked your life. Thanks to you, we're alive right now. I can say with certainty that's a good outcome. That's the only thing I'm certain of, actually. Noah, you... And we never properly thanked you. Ha, huh, so we didn't. Oh, yeah. Silvercoat Ethel, we want to formally thank you for your courage. <laughs> I can hardly recognize the three of you. I'll continue to do my best to live up to my nickname. And as I walk off into the sunset. Finished. May our alliance last. Oh, I, I got a new uh, hero. Wow. Ethel's class, class flesh fencer. Roll attacker. Using buff arts is advised before deploying other arts. Talent art raises the attack power, so make sure to perform roll actions. Recruiting heroes officially. Complete a hero's hero quest to have them permanently join your party. Deepen your affinity with a hero to allow your main prime members free use of a hero's class. There you go. Once a hero formally allies with you, the party member designates that hero's class in inheritor, which is me, or uh, Noah will gain the ability to assume the hero's class too. Other characters can still acquire hero's class by fighting alongside that hero or any party member who's learned that set and set that class for themselves. You can check how close each party member is to gaining a class from character's class. Filling in the character's icon fully will unlock the character's class. Yeah, we already know. The more member you have using classes, you want to learn the quicker you'll be able to teach them to the rest of the team 
So take note which classes you have set. Yep. And the clothing, we already know. Okay, you can change the clothing. Okay, that's cool. Okay, all the little jobs are done. Time to take all the right. baths. All right, let me, um... Hold on one second, guys. Uh, character. Class. Wow! Look at everything that opened up. Look at all this. This all opened up. So these are all different classes that I'm going to be able to do. I'm gonna I'm gonna set these class to that. Alright, let me Ethel's is an ogre. She's a sword fighter. Okay, okay, he's a medic. Alright, alright, I think I got it. I have one uh tank and the other ones are sword fighters. I think I'd rather have it that way. Alright. Oh, he's max rank. Oh crap. Okay, let me see. Well, he's ma he's ma he's mass rank there, so it means I gotta switch. Let's see. Uh, I'm gonna put him as a heavy guard. I'll provide the perfect defense. Okay, she. I'm gonna turn her into a healer. Leave the healing to me. All right. There we go. Okay. Cause I want at least two healers. Two healers, two shields, two sword. Okay, we got it. We got it. We got it. All right. All right. All right, I'm going to go to the camp. Because I want to raise... Uh, I want to raise their levels because we we've uh, some food. fought. Okay, so... Oh, we can only do... We can only do food. Okay, well... Screw it. All right. Um, we'll order that. I'll start, shall I? Nice. Oof, all finished. She learned a new recipe. So that's a new recipe then. You have learned a new recipe. It's good to keep a record. All right. Let's keep things on a tight loop. All right. Uh, let's talk to a few people. And then we'll go, um, read the flow. I'm not going to read all this out because it, like, takes forever. You guys can read fast. Hopefully you can because my affinity is almost up. It's probably going to think, yep, to the medical supplies. Yeah, it takes all care of yourselves. We will, man. We will. All right. Um, one more over here. Or two more. Well, that's a, uh, this cucar or whatever. All right, have friends sample the tortilla as we did. It was pretty tasty. Yeah, we'll have to tell Manana about this. Yeah, we did. We did. All right. Uh, colony. Oh, we can raise. Okay. I had to look. We can raise our. We can um, do with some food. We can level up. That's what I wanted to do. Cause I know. Oh, look. All level twenty. Oh, guess what? That means another thing opens up. I yeah. Let me feel stronger. Another thing opens up because I'm level 20 now. Okay, so. Ugh. Let's be off. All right, let me. Um. See, there's the discussions. I can do that in the. Oh, I hit the wrong button again. Um. We're gonna go to characters because they're. See, yeah, the stuff opened up. See? See? Told ya. All right, so we have a giant swing. Dark banner. banner. Okay. Hungry. Oh. Okay, giant thing, yeah. Alright. Uh have a fall. Um Solid Solid stance. and then Ground beat. Alright. Then 
they have another thing unlocked. And see, they got a lot of stuff unlocked. So accessories. Okay, that's at level 30. Gems. Let's see. Increase agility. She's... Okay, I'm going to give her that. Um... He's more of this. Okay, how's that equipped? Okay, I'm gonna do agility. Okay, she has life bearer. Give her that. Uh, let's see. Okay, he's a, a, I'm gonna give him that. He's got the life bearer. All right, I think I got everybody now. Yeah, all right. Uh, skills. Okay, that's where I gotta do the... Sorry, this is taking so long, guys, but... Once you level up, you have to do this. Okay. I did skills, you idiots. Okay, I'm not gonna change her clothing right now. All right, okay. Uh, I'm gonna do a, uh, can I do a manual save? Sorry, uh, oh, I can only do a manual save here. Let me save here. Uh, interact. Let me save here because I totally forgot Let's to do it. Let's make the most of our break, guys. There we are. I don't, I don't want to get caught record. and then all of a sudden, oops, you know, I didn't save. Uh, let's all right, let's go. Okay, we have the main story. Where are we going? going uh so there's navigation on but i don't see where i'm supposed to go rest up oh we have to rest up at the barracks okay that's what's telling me to hey we did objective mom break guys if you read the stupid objective, you'd see what happened. Another bit thinner, I think. <sighs> Best bath ever. Hmm? They like water. You taking a dip, Mimi? It's nice and warm. Uh, I might skip today. Was a really a sweaty one. What? How can you miss a hot bath opportunity? Then again, I guess when you smell so nice already, maybe it's no problem. Are you, uh, embarrassed about other people seeing you? There's no need to be. Miss Ethel thought of everything. She even managed to give us a window when the bath would be empty. Ah, yes. I did know that. I guess maybe I will take a dip. Had a girl. <sighs> okay. Don't wait for me. All right, then. Have a good one. And good night. Later. Yeah. Good night, Sana. She's worried. They should be finished clearing the landside sloom. We'll be a sloom. Sloom! We'll be able to set out to Ribby Flats. God, man. 
Colony 4's engineers are excellent. They took care of that faster than I thought they would. I guess we'll be saying bye-bye to Colony 4. Ethel and the others have been good to us. I'd like to see her before I go. Yeah, I want to do that too. I guess we all should. Let's go mob command. <laughs> Affinity level solving colony folks problems will deep. Uh, we already know. What do you think I was doing? What do you think I was doing? The whole gosh darn time. I don't feel like doing it right now. We have we have track, stuff then. to do. Yep, we got places we need to be. Exactly. Time for this crap. I get out of the way, you. Gosh, she's like forever. Is it silver coat? Yeah. Even a dirt rack, it's still Ethel's partner, I bet. It says go to command, I'm all over the place. I wonder where this goes. Curious. Okay, nowhere. I was just curious. All right. Okay, here we go. It, once you enter the office, you'll be unable to include Ethel in the party. That's fine. That's fine. Because, well, oh, they're just telling me that. Yeah, that's fine. We already knew she was temporary. I have to ask, before you go, why is it that you stick together? Given what's what, we pretty much have to. Considering how everybody attacks us on sight now. At this point, I suppose, it just panned out this way. You really think so? That's not really how it looks to me. Well, one thing's for sure. We were sworn enemies once, and yet, we all share the will to live in the now. Before becoming Ouroboros, I never realized. But that common will, it was reason enough to stick together. I see. Not everyone makes the choice to fight willingly. Lance said that you have to. Well, right now every one of us has to. There's no question it would be better if they didn't. Yeah, it would be better. Your journey may have started out of necessity, but now you're pushing forwards towards a common goal. Yep. Yeah. And that, that might be all we want and all that we wish the world could be. What we wish it could be. It's like, <laughs> yeah. You're heading out as well. As soon as we're done here, I'll make for the castle. What? You forget, I am the commander. Yeah. We haven't revolted against our nation, so I have to report in. Ethel, are you sure? Oh, don't worry. I'll be leaving you out of it. That's not it. The consul earlier turned Mobius. Were it to... If you mean that monster, I'm well aware of the risk. Then why? Because it's my responsibility to those I command. As for the Consul, we can say he died in an accident. Oh, and they know, they know remotely. better. Now that the Consul and Flame Clock are both lost to us, I have to make a report and not over comms. I have to requisition more supplies too. And what if, what if they fit you with a new clock? <laughs> I can worry about that then. You're fine with it, really. Don't get preoccupied with us. Keep to your path. Follow it, wherever it may lead you. Life is short. Yeah, it's only ten years. Hey, while we're all still here, one more word of warning. Hmm? The Consul was attempting to remove you from the picture. In light of that, you'll likely come up against hostility. Uh, but listen, you should keep engagement to a minimum. 
Kevis or Agnes. That goes for both of them. But if we break their clocks, just like with Colony 4 here, they would... Well, they would be free, wouldn't they? You'd do well to remember not everyone thinks the same as I do, even within this colony. Many yeah. still haven't come to accept their new reality. Ah. Uh. Exactly, he didn't. To make things even more fraught, in other colonies, there are those who are more than willing to fight, as you'd expect. So it's no use appealing to their sense of compassion, or hoping they'll treat us fairly, is that it? <sighs> yes, precisely. You will change the fate of others just by virtue of coming into contact with them. It's quite the burden. You may not want the responsibility. A burden, perhaps. All that said, you or get embers on your coat, you have to brush them off. Yeah. If push comes to shove, do not flinch. Do whatever it takes for the greater good. The greater good. I wish you all a smooth and fruitful journey. The greater good. Thank you, Alpha. Later. Ouroboros, huh? If only we could have been there as well. Jealous, are we? Maybe. She wanted to be Ouroboros. <laughs> okay, we should check the root data again. Make sure we're on the right path. We're on the course for Sword March. But first, we'll need to take the southeast road through, a rib through Ribby Flats. Ah, uh, yes, that's the route that Ethel recommended. Correct. She said the battle fronts are pretty static at the moment, but we do have any intel about col but do we have any intel about colony deployments? As far as Ethel and Colony Four are concerned, we've got a pretty good idea. But what about any others? I wouldn't expect any shenanigans all the way out here. In any case, we mustn't let our guard down along the way. Danger could be lurking anywhere in the background, so insecurity stalks us. Not much we can do about that, though. Yeah, because we got that other uh, console after us right now. Uh, come on, man. We'll muddle through. Let's hope so. Hey, I mean, if we run into another colony, it isn't necessarily a bad thing. Uh, are you sure about that? It doesn't matter if we run into Agnes or Kev's. Either one could mean getting in to a dust up true but what I meant was if we destroyed their flame clock we'd set everyone free like we did with colony 4 easy to say well sure I mean if conditions allow it if we're brushing off embers we'll have no choice in the matter that's right hey maybe it's better if we put off worrying about that until the time comes you need speaking sense there True, we can just uh, react to events as they happen, play it by ear. Gotcha, I'll apply myself to that. Uh, yeah, let's go. We're all buddies. All right, liberating colonies, destroying colonies, fame call, we liberate it from the console's grasp. Once liberated, grasp, grasp. Oh my gosh. Grasp. Once liberated, the people are free to act how they like, opening up new info fragments to find. Okay, every time a colony is liberated, the warning level of its nation, Kevs or Agnes, will increase. The warning level for each nation can be checked in the main menu. As the threat level increases, so too will the number of soldiers in each nation deployed on the field. Okay, it's just telling you. Affinity chart, you can check how various people in a colony get along with each other by using the affinity chart. It also shows you a basic profile of each person. Okay, are we done now? Gosh darn, man. All right, we're going this way. Okay, so it'll tell us a warning level. Sorry, my head itches right now. All right, let's go. I'm gonna try out this new class. Um, you get this class once, well, you saw once uh, you get a hero like Ethel, you get different heroes, the uh, different uh, classes will unlock, which is, which is cool because, you know, oh, I must be a high enough level where these guys aren't even attack, won't even attack me now. They won't aggro me because they're uh, grayed out. Yeah, they won't aggro. 
They're grayed out, they won't aggro. Alright. Well, I'm level 20 now. So trust me, I'm probably gonna be fighting a little bit. How far are we? Okay, what I'm gonna- Oh, we've been spotted. What? By who? Over here. Oh, this guy. There we go. Yeah, he just, he aggroed me. I was like, what the heck? Okay, we're almost, there we go. We got here. Wow. That's pretty. Ribby Flats. It's finally out of the desert. All right, we're here. And it took a while to get around there, but we got here. I almost died. <laughs> hey, over there. If we set up camp there, we'll have a good visibility. Think it's time we look, took a break. Look. Oh my God, my reading. Took a break. Riku, for one, want to rest anyway. Relentless walking has left legs like numbered out sausages. <laughs> Numbed out. Number. Numbed. Gosh, sausages indeed. Meal time is here. Sounds good. Let's go for it, I say. Should we rest in shifts? I can take sentry duty first. Ah, Mimi, let me back you up on that. Okay. Then let's take a break there. Oh my gosh. My reading. Sorry, guys. Where'd they get the tables? Tell me they, the Nippons carry tables. Meanies. What was that, Senna? It's just, I was up all night thinking. Those guys are so selfish. Selfish how? You know what I mean. Every time we interlink, they're the ones taking the lead. And me, all I do is watch. Oh, that's what you mean. Tell me you don't think so too. Maybe not selfish, but like... Hey, why didn't you move that way? And stuff like that, yeah. Yeah, right? So you'd prefer to take the reins? I just want to do more. Like, pull my weight. You know? <laughs> That's so you, Senna. I think it's probably fine, though. Oh, yeah. They're just being protective, I think. Like what Noah said? Yeah. I wouldn't worry about it. I'm sure we'll get our turn. You sure? Yeah. Positive. Oh, so thoughtful. Better give it a good one, Toba. All right. So, where are we going now? Okay, we're almost there. Here we are. Oh, there's another drop over there. I just saw it. Saw the red smoke. Probably shouldn't be climbing up this one, huh? But this is the route Ethel told us to take. No question. Well, I guess that means... We're climbing. We'll just uh, have to keep going then. Wow. Oh, who's that? Vivaldi, where are you? Huh? Outside the colony. Well, yeah, I know that. It's bad. The console's searching for you. Gotcha. Just make up something. Sorry, make up? Uh-oh. Oh, crap. Let's look for a place we can climb from. I'll take a look around here. Okay, I'll check out over here. Yep, yeah, there's a fight oh, on crap. our hands. 
She's running. Guys, get back! Why does the dang screen have to shake? That like throws me off. Ouroboros, fight me! Huh? It's just a kid. That was close call. Almost flattened like buttery pancake. Ah, uh, sorry. Apology grudgingly accepted. <laughs> Hey, are you Ouroboros too? Factually untrue. Manana is just Manana. Ah, that's a relief. I really didn't want to have to fight a knock on. Oh, Valdi, by the way, if I may. Mm, is this. What are you guys doing? We're the ones you got beef with. Come on, bring it! <laughs> you can't beat me. Here I come! Oh, great. Here's the fight. We ready? Okay, the right hand... The kind right hand. No, I'm gonna get the machine first. Easier if you get the machine first. I'll keep your attention on me. Just as that way, Tyler. Oh, someone's almost dead. Attack, man. Why didn't I think of that? I didn't even see it. I didn't even see it. Overkill. Okay. Okay, we'll go. Blue peel. Okay. Uh, 
do another group kill. Activation again. Do you think this plan might work? Uh, we'll do her. Okay, watch out. Uh, we'll do. Uh, air fang. We're at a hundred. Go. Man, I'm good. <laughs> I love that he's chain attack. He's so cool. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Gotta rank up on that one. Let me get this stuff before it disappears. There we go. This was fun. Oh, see, Mila, Mila keeps dying. She keeps dying. I don't, I don't know why. Whoa, the joints are all burned out, and the state of this armor. Hey, show me that again. Show you what? Those moves you pulled. I've never seen anyone smash up a levinist like that. I need to figure out how you guys managed to do it. Let's see. No. <laughs> Nothing to observe. Yeah. The frame was structurally poor. Evident that driving wheel could not withstand torque. The driving wheel, you say? I wonder if it's because it was upgraded from lightweight to a more heavy assault style. Did I mess up the handling? But the armor had to withstand a charge. I had to fudge the weight to keep a good turning circle. Uh... Yes, you're absolutely right. I can't believe you could tell with just one look. Hey, would you teach me everything you know? No. <laughs> Noah? Uh, no, uh, no, no. Uh, I'm just kidding. Who exactly are you? Oh, I'm Valdi, Levinus Builder from Colony 30. I heard that anyone who defeats you gets a whole buttload of supplies from the castle as a reward. But, yeah, you won, so it's all good. Oh, yeah, everything's just hunky-dory. <laughs> what the stuff are you playing at? <laughs> Not playing anything. You're really a mechanic? From Colony 30? Who's the commander for that one again? Oh, yeah, that would be me. Pull the other one. Yeah. Wow. Don't look so surprised. I did hear that Colony 30's commander was the greatest mechanic in Keves. Not sure I would say greatest, but I am bonkers about Levinus's. Uh. Hey, Zet. What's up? Surely that's my line. The Levinus signal just cut out. What happened? They oh, broke. It just got a bit bashed about. Everything's fine. I'll be back home soon. You're going back alone? Huh? I... I was just wondering how you expect to manage that. Oh. Oh, it's fine. The colony's not that far away. I'll just cannibalize these bits and pieces into a new levels. Quick as you like. That would take so much salvaging. Oh. Huh. <laughs> Maybe I can't do it alone. Oh, How did well, I know it would come to this. <sighs> Guess we'll do your grunt work. All right, hit us. What's the shopping list? You'd really help me. Well, we're not going to no. leave you alone to fend for yourself. Thank you so much, large man. Landsman. I mean, lands. Oh, then lands, I shall call you. Let's get cracking. I'll send the likeliest sites for debris to your iris. So this is going to be like a side quest. Okay, Valdi has temporarily joined the party. 